Well, here's our second slab of the day. You can see right here in the end grain, just a follow up to what we showed earlier. We got the pith right here captured right there in the middle of that slab. So taking your time and getting your measurements right pays off in the end and getting rid of those things. So now Curtis, when this stuff dries, can come in here and cut right here and right here on his bandsaw and get rid of this and still have two decent pieces of uh, butternut to work with. And as you can see on the side of it, some nice straight quarter sawn grain. Really nice stuff here. I'm gonna pull this slab off. And what I think I'm gonna do is flip this thing over. For some reason, I'm having a hard time getting a good bite with my clamps on this log. And as you can see, as the sawmill travels down, it's kind of pulling it back and forth a little bit. Now, I don't want to mess anything up on this timber, so we'll pull this slab off and flip it over and uh, start on the other side. Just not sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's because this bark is loose on the clamp or what's going on, but I just can't get a good bite here on this log. Who knows? out of hand here on this thing. Just want to flip over the side. This log does not want to be solved for some reason. That jaw back so I can push it over.
Guys, here's the slab that had the pith in it, and you can see right here in the middle, it's really dark. And there's a lot of knots and clusters in here in the middle. And this is the juvenile wood of the tree when it was very young. And that's why you got these little knots in here where the limbs were coming out. And as this tree got older and bigger, it looks like it formed a proper canopy. And that's why you have this clear wood out here on the sides. And it's also some nice quarter sawn wood. And this is just another example of a nice slab with quarter sawn wood on the side, but the pith is in the middle. Now what I would do with this, once it's dried, I would cut this pith out and you would get slabs about eight inches wide on both sides. You could glue those up and have a really nice quarter saw on a slab right here, 16 inches wide. I'm not sure what Curtis will do with these, but I'm pretty sure he's really particular about his wood. This pith right here will be gone once this air dries. But I'll bring the camera in to show you, you know, this is, it's aggravating when you got the pith in here because you gotta get rid of it. You can put epoxy in here and stabilize it, but it's just junk in my opinion, you know, get it out of there. But the only good thing about it is once you get rid of it, you got some nice quarter sawn wood on the sides. All we're going to get done today it's about 6 30 i gotta head in the house and grab some dinner i'm about to starve to death and uh probably drink me about a gallon of water on top of that this humidity is just killing me out here today but i'll tell you one thing this spray foam up here on the ceiling makes it a whole lot cooler in here when sawing i can notice a big difference from when we didn't have that in here so uh really glad i got that done it's helping out here in the hot summer so uh tomorrow i'm gonna come back out here it's supposed to be raining but we'll finish up this butternut so let me know in the comments below, guys, if y'all want to see that other butternut get sawed up. I think it's going to be more of the same. It came from the same log, but this one is a little bit wider, it looks like, and the pith is really off-centered. I may do one just because it's going to be a good lesson on the pith. It's really, uh, it's almost over the sapwood on one side of it here. I didn't even realize that when I cut it up. That one's going to be a pain. So anyways, guys, if y'all want to see that, let me know in the comments below. And uh, after that one's over with, we'll move on to that big black walnut. And after that's done, who knows what I've got lined up after that. i got some big bots elder I need to bring up here. So uh, see what happens. So I'm going to head in the house and grab some dinner and then come out here and do some weed eating in this summer heat. I'm really looking forward to that. And I've also got to head over to the garden in the next field over beside me. And I think green beans are ready to be picked. So a lot left to do here tonight. And I've got to do some video editing as well. Get this out to you guys. So uh, hopefully I'll get all that done before midnight. We'll see. So if you like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up button. That helps the channel out. And uh, leave me a comment below if you want to see the other butternut. And we'll see you guys on the next video, probably tomorrow, if not the next day. Should be about tomorrow. We'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching.